No one wants to admit that there's anything about race or that race has played a role in the trolling and the vitriol. What was that conversation? That conversation I'm never going to share. Um, but at the time, at the time it was awkward. I was a bit shocked. Um, can, you, can you tell us what the question was? No, I don't, I'm not comfortable sharing that. The strain, Harry and Meghan say, ultimately driving them away from the UK and from the royal family. When we were in Canada, I, I had uh, three conversations with my grandmother and two conversations with my father um, before I stopped taking my calls. I took matters in, by that point, I took matters into my own hands. It was like, I need to do this for my family. The couple say the British press played a major role. A story about Meghan making Kate cry one of many, Megan says, was untrue. Was there a situation where she might have cried or she could have oh, cried? No, the reverse happened. Crucially, the couple say they felt unprotected. The scars are clear. You said that you love your brother and always will love your brother. You didn't tell me what the relationship is now, though. Um, the relationship is space at the moment. And, you know, time heals all things, hopefully. No comment, guys, from the palace uh, this morning. Perhaps that's to be expected. The couple do say they have a good relationship with the Queen and announced another piece of news that on another day would have made headlines that they're having a baby girl. Savannah? Here, thank you very much. And we want to bring in NBC's royal contributor, Camilla Tappy.